first we have to drive from Canmore to Calgary. Then we have to Uber to the airport. And then we have to fly from Calgary to San Francisco. Okay. Then we fly 16 hours from San Francisco to Singapore. <laughs> and once we get to Singapore, that's not even our end destination. Morning. <laughs> Morning. It's not gonna live. You can't do it. I didn't even buy anything. Let's see what we're working with down here. Come on. Come on. It's not gonna work. I gotta redo it. I gotta repack. I have to repack. I got lazy. I'm encouraging my packing cubes. Vital step in the process that I skipped. Okay, you can do this. Think small thoughts. Only have to go to Thailand. It's not that far. I'm gonna put some slippers in here. I believe in you. We got there so oh, much together. Around this corner. You're almost there. Uh, come on. Yes. Yes. You're almost to the finish line. Woo! Good morning from the Intercontinental here in Singapore. We are gonna to start today's video off with a little bit of travel hacking knowledge because in yesterday's video, I promised to explain to you why we decided to spend one night here in Singapore before continuing on to Chiang Mai. I signed up for this card a couple years ago and in addition to an 80,000 point sign up bonus, it also comes with a free night certificate that you can use at any IHG hotel around the world. You get one of those per year when you sign up for this card. So my free night certificate was gonna expire in just a couple weeks and I like to try to maximize the value of that certificate as much as possible anytime I get the chance. And this intercontinental hotel here in Singapore costs between four and $500 per night Plus, we just love Singapore. So this seemed like a great opportunity to redeem the free night certificate, maximize the value, and just spend a day exploring a city that we love. Which is exactly what we did. We came to Singapore for the first time three years ago. We were so new at vlogging. We were so new at traveling. We were so new at Asia. And now we have a lot of experience in all of those areas. So we had the best time going around, doing all the things that we did last time that we were here and feeling so nostalgic. We started at our favorite hawker center, which is basically a Singaporean food court. All of this delicious food was only five Singaporean dollars. Rice, chicken, soup, sauce, and chicken. Then jet lag and our 16 hour flight caught up with us and we crashed hard. So we came back to our hotel room, took a little nap, and then we were ready for the afternoon. Turns out they have rideshare scooters in Singapore. We shared a code, we both got a free hour. What a fun way to see the city. There are also a lot of laws in Singapore, which makes this a little scary. It's like you can get fined for chewing gum here, and you can also get fined $5,000 for speeding on your scooter, or six months in jail, one or the other. So I'm just nervous that there's laws that we don't know <laughs> that we might be breaking. Okay, I don't have a brake hand when I'm holding the camera. exploring the town on these scooters, especially at sunset. It felt so good outside. We rode to the harbor. It was beautiful. Then we ended the night at Chinatown for the food. We went for the food. I feel like we really made the most of our time here in Singapore. But now it's time to go to the airport. Ah, I'm gonna carry her to the airport. Oh, it's hot. and already had change ready for me. That was so sweet. Today we are flying from here to Bangkok and then Bangkok to Chiang Mai on a new airline that we've never flown before called Thai Lion Air. We have access to four different lounges in this terminal. How will we decide the winner? 
Thank you. Mm. How great is this lounge? It is massive and beautiful. And the coffee's really strong. This lounge is a make your own waksa bar. Let's see if we can figure this out. Waksa is an iconic popular noodle dish originating from the... I'm not gonna lie, we tried this the first time we came to Singapore and I could not like it at all. Not everything we try can be a winner. Because my hands are gonna get so gross trying to open this crayfish and I'm gonna get like one bite of food. She hates it when she has to work for food. How are you supposed to eat this? None of this is edible. Would you like me to open it for you? No, you don't like sticky hands either. I'm gonna give it a second chance. Step one, blanch bowl of noodles in hot water. Blanching. We're blanched. Step two. Mm -hmm. Step three. Let's see how I did. It smells super shrimpy. Oh wow, that's really good. Seriously, it's delicious. There's also a hard bowl of egg in here. The combination of coconut with spice and the broth is delicious. Yum, I love cultural experiences in airports. Okay, as usual, we waited till the very last minute and we have coffee so we can't run. Menu, menu. Sorry. Goodbye, Singapore, Thailand, here we go. Safety information card is located in the seat pocket in front of you. Please read it carefully. If you have any queries, please contact cabin crew. Thank you. And two hours later, we have arrived in Bangkok where we're going to be spending the next seven hours. On purpose. We booked a late flight <laughs> on purpose to stay here longer. Now we're... <laughs> Both. A little jet lag no still. It seemed like a really bad idea. Since we have so much time in the airport, we thought we would explain why we're going to Chiang Mai. So if you follow us on Instagram or you're on our email list, you know that our vlogs are behind our real life and they have been for a really long time. And it's because we film every single day, but we only upload every other day so we can have a semi-normal life and sleep schedule. <laughs> and so we're just going to get behind no matter what. We never take long enough off to actually catch up. So we basically had this opportunity to choose anywhere in the world we wanted to, to spend a month. When we came to Chiang Mai in early 2016, we fell in love and we've always had this like vision that it would be really fun to spend a small season of our life there. So that's what this is for. It's like the next month hanging out as digital nomads in Chiang Mai. that we booked a long way over anymore because there's a sushi buffet and sparkling rosé. I just arrived. I didn't even make it. I'm not even tired anymore. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't even planned. How was your nap? <laughs> oh, this was such a better idea when I booked this like weeks ago. Uh, I'm so tired. I feel like a zombie. I, I actually two feel cups of coffee. a lot better after my nap. Oh, good. <laughs> you feel better after your two cups of coffee. I feel I better after my nap. I just feel kind of crazy. <laughs> it is dark outside. It's going to be dark on the plane. It's going to be dark when we land in Chiang Mai. And because I feel like I videoed. 10 airplane rides in the past 48 hours, we're gonna teleport to Chiang Mai. We made it! Okay, now we just have to take a grab to our place because there's no Uber. Let's grab. Thank you. I bought a new car one week ago. It's a nice car. Thank you. Sometimes a certain smell will take me back to when I was 
The apartment that we booked came with a family of teddy bears that are gonna keep us company for the next few nights. Uh, we're in this apartment for three nights and we're gonna check out a few different parts of town before we commit to the apartment that we're staying in for the next month. But now it is time to go to sleep. You ready for bed, Kara? Yep. Right. Aww, okay. cute. Do you ever think it would be normal for you to order food at a place with four chicken heads hanging in the front of it? No. I want to do it selfie while I'm riding. You can't ride yeah, in selfie? Give it to me. No way. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You good? Ow! I'm sorry that I stepped on your toe. <laughs> <laughs> so violent. <laughs> oh my gosh, we match! <laughs> This always happens. Look at your shirts. I haven't zipped my bag yet. I haven't either. I feel like you're thinking about choking me because of the match. I'm not changing. Wow, that's funny. This literally always happens. This is like But it's always with my green shirt magic. and your green shirt or your green shirt. I'll change it to my green shirt. <laughs> I'll change. No, no, no. No, I don't mind. I know my bag's not even zipped. Mine's not either. Will you hold it higher? I feel like I'm looking down. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> okay. Get your hack together. Okay. Oh, I thought it was a push-up, Nicole. 